What's going on, folks? CJ Larman, aka That Sports Gamer, here, head of community for Out of the Park Developments. Alex is over there. More importantly, look at this. I got color in my face. The Pythons Whoa. are out. And we are here to play Out of the Park Baseball 22. <laughs> Alex, how's it going, buddy? It's going pretty good. It is getting hot, though. It is getting very, very hot out here. I mean, yeah. I'm in a desert, so, you know, I have really, you know, that's, that's like every day is hot out here, but, but it is getting warm. Um, but not as hot as our trade, as our trades have been and what we might be able to do tonight. So hold on to your seats, guys. We've got some stuff for you all tonight. Yeah, I'm very interested to see uh, what you've concocted. Where are we? December 14th? Is that true? Yes. We're still December in the off 14. season? Oh my God. We're still in the off season. We're going to try to get, um, the goal for tonight is to get up to the Rule 5 draft at least. Um, potentially to the end of the year. So I we'll want see. spring training. I want spring training. You're gonna give me Ooh, some trades. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot them down, and then we're gonna we're gonna get right into it. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see what uh, chat thinks about you shooting the trades down. I thought we liked this guy. I'm looking at your trade list. I don't know. All right. Where do you want to start? You tell me. Well, I gotta pull up the game. Probably would be helpful. Yeah, we should probably have the game up on screen so people can see it. But uh, let's start with. Um... Are we sure we don't want Jackie Bradley Jr.? Because we can't get him. We can't get him now, but we don't really want him anyways because he's expensive. He's right. he's being paid a lot to basically be a gold glove center fielder for Houston. So that's probably not going to be something that we were really going to be investing a whole lot of money into. So we're still looking at the idea of trying to cut back on money uh, and opening up more budget space for the foreseeable future. We got 20 mil. We can go get anybody we want. Yeah, but we're going to have a whole lot of arbitration people with all the pitching staff that, that we acquired true. over the past couple of months. We're going to have about 20 to $30 million of increased payroll in the next, what, two to three years, technically. Mm, yeah. It's it's going to be a lot of money to keep all it's of our players. Uh, yeah. yeah, and unfortunately, a lot of it is like in two years, we're going to have like six people who are going to want, you know, probably 12 million plus, depending upon how they perform. So. Yeah. I am, I am not liking where some of our arbitration numbers are heading. Like Pavin Smith expected to make ten million by the end of his arbitration in twenty twenty six, but I mean he he he, well, he he's deserves a monster. that. He should be making. He more. deserves that. Uh, Talkman is going to be the one that I'm a little bit concerned about. He might be looking at like eight eight to ten, I think, by the time he's done with arbitration. Uh, Keller is expected to get, I think, eleven. Um, there's just a lot of people who could start to be making some good amounts of money on us, and that's not a bad thing because that means that they're young it means we have a lot of you know 26 27 year olds who are entering into the last stage of arbitration they have a chance to be able to you know make it big in the bigs with us and if they do then we'll pay them because yeah. we'll be winning ball games in theory that's in that, theory. that is the theory yeah that's the goal the goal is to get people set up for success and then watch the team succeed but all right. that's always the goal so I believe so let's in the talk goal. a little bit about one option for tonight, because our options for tonight are going to be to use the winter meetings to get potentially up to two trades done. Um, We're at the winter meetings also. That was where we Yes, we time. are at the winter meetings, and that was where we stopped last time. We wanted to take some, take a breath, take a look at our trade options, what other stuff we can possibly do. The main goal is to get rid of Bumgarner and as much of his contract as possible. And... There are actually two trades involving Bumgarner, or at least two options of one trade involving Bumgarner. And then there's another trade that would actually open up the door for more flexibility. Um, and it involves around getting rid of one of our best hitters for a potentially replacement best hitter. So I mm. guess we should start there, TJ, if you're okay with that. Let's do that. Yeah, because that's going to be the big one. I think chat will completely be on... on uh, on board with this trade, but I like some, I of, this, see I like some of the names think. in this trade. So I'm excited. I like some of the names. I like some of the positions. I like some of the prospects and I really like the main headline name. So this first trade involves us trading with the Boston Red Sox. And uh, if Ukraine is done streaming, she's going to start screaming at us in a second here. <laughs> we'll have to not let that happen. Then. No, no, she's still streaming. So guys good, in, good, in Ukraine's quick. chat, just keep her there. Keep her keep her streaming for a little bit longer until we're done with this trade, and then she can stop. All right. Don't don't let her see this. So we're gonna be trading with the Boston Red Sox, and we're gonna be acquiring a few of their minor prospects and then one of their best hitters. Um I'm gonna work my way up bottom up on their list. 
Yeah, so we start off with Cameron Cannon, who is a second base prospect at this point. Um, supposedly he's got a little bit of shortstop ability, but very good bat, very good fielding for second base. Would be like a long, short, or well, shorter, short term replacement for Horner if Horner starts to fall apart. Um, if we don't use Schumach, so um, or Schumake, Schumake, right? Schumake, yeah. Schumake. Um, the other person on the list is going to be Jeffrey Marte, who I believe is a shortstop prospect in I think it was Triple A. Is he AAA? Um, Not on the prospect list. We must be getting up there. He has played a couple of, I think he's played one year of Major League Ball. They tried him out as a backup, I believe. Okay. What we got here? You name him, and then we'll, I'll, we'll go through him. Yeah. So Marte is an excellent potential prospect for us. This is a, um, a pretty decent hitting third base shortstop prospect that we could potentially use. He's actually been played at first base, too, which is weird. Basically, they have him listed as a shortstop, but he actually hasn't played any shortstop, but he has the arm and range for it. Um, they've been trying him out at third base and first base. Oh, he actually came from the Nippon League. Oh, I didn't actually know that. Um, anywho, Jeffrey Marte, one of the people on our list as well. Yeah, We're also going to be acquiring... Fragile Marte. Uh, I don't know. Fragile Marte, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the one person that would be like a high flyer situation where he might develop a little bit more... Or he could be an excellent like quad A player, but he may only result in triple A. Noah, or no, not well, no. Uh, Jacob Wallace is another person on our list that we're going to be acquiring from the Boston Red Sox, as you just saw him on your screen right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be trying to see if Wallace could be an excellent uh, relief option for us um, mm -hmm. coming out of the bullpen. He doesn't have the three pitches needed to be a starter or the stamina, so he is a relief pitching option. He'd probably go straight into double A, mm -hmm. potentially triple A if he does a good job. And um, that would be good for us all around. Also on the list is going to be Jerron Duran. Uh, anyone who watched our Chicago White Sox series know that we have a soft spot for Duran a little bit here. Um, so, of course, if we're going to trade with the Boston Red Sox, we have to we get Duran. Like, that's just that's just has to happen at this point. He's still a prospect or is he probably with the big team? Right? I believe he's still a prospect. Oh, he is. I would assume. I think he still has, yeah, I think he still has only managed to get to, like, double A, I believe. So, I don't think he's had any major league service time as of yet. Boop, boop, boop. I just saw his name. No, my apologies. He played in triple A last year. Didn't have the greatest season in triple A, but he no, also got caught. Get, he's trying to get me bad players. Caught. No, he just got caught stealing 15 times, and that hurt his war a little bit. Otherwise, you know, he had an above-average OPS, which is good. Um, the on-base percentage compared to the batting average is good, so he got a lot of walks involved. Um, the strikeouts are a little higher than I'd like to see them for, you know, 363 at-bats, but um, the gap power was definitely good. He definitely had a decent ability to play, and he plays infield and outfield, so you really can't ask for much, much more. Yeah, 23 right. doubles last year. And he had 23 doubles? 400 at-bats? Yeah. And that's good. That means that on a regular uh, season of a regular 162 games, he'd be looking at high 30s to low 40s, which would be that'd be good. That would be uh, Talkman levels. Hopefully, hopefully. It's yeah, I mean, that's that's always the goal is to hopefully get the best possible. But then the last person on our list to acquire in this deal is going to be Rafael Frenchy Cordero. <laughs> not not Cordero. Cordero. <laughs> not Cordero. Not Cordero. Broken kneecap also. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're picking up Devers. Rafael oh man, Devers. We're picking up Devers in this deal. Seems pretty good. And um, this is actually because I took a look at our third base option, which right now is Perdomo, mm -hmm. and I realized Perdomo hasn't had any time in AAA. Yeah, like at all. Um, and I don't know if I actually feel comfortable throwing him into the big leagues without having a little bit more development, since he actually is still underdeveloped a little bit like he he still needs a little bit more time yeah he only and had my like 23 apologies. games right. there last year yes you're right 23 game triple a so he had a little bit of time triple a and it was okay um but i don't feel comfortable giving him that job on a silver platter so yeah. what i'd like to do even though devers is not a short term fix to this um this would open up you know perdomo to play second base shortstop third base all those three positions if he wants to and devers, devers is, is 
Still yeah, all he's only 25, and um, he's an excellent, excellent candidate to be able to be on a team like mm-hmm. ours that wants to, uh, you know, quicken a rebuild potential. This is a great mm-hmm. pickup for us. So I guess we should talk about who we're giving away in this deal, I guess. Yeah, I'm not excited for that. Um, this seems like a really good haul, so... Oh, by the way, they're also oh, giving us two and a half million dollars as well. So they're giving us some cash to make up for uh, to make up from Devers' ten million dollars of arbitration. Gotcha. Got it. And we'll see if this translates directly to your version of the game. It should, because our files were the same. But um, we're going to be giving them a couple of prospects. One of which I'm actually really not interested in getting rid of, but it would be worth it for Devers. Um. So let's start at the bottom again and work our way up on this list, except for the big one. Um, and yes, we do have shortlisted players are all caps. So, you know, that's a quick way to be able to find some stuff if it's uh, shortlisted players that we wanted to grab. But um, Ryan Nelson is going to be one of the people involved in this deal. He's a starting pitcher slash closing pitcher. We've been trying him out as a closer for the past year, trying to see if we can have some better success of him in that position versus starting. Um he didn't have the greatest season in the world, but um, uh, but he did okay as a relief pitcher, and he still got some really good ratings. Um, yeah. He still has very good potential as as a starting pitcher. If he can get the stamina up, he would be probably just fine for that. But at this point, we have a good amount of starting pitchers yeah. uh, and a lot of good MLB ready pitchers right now. So we have depth to work from in that. In that we area, have right? depth. Yeah, starting pitchers are kind of our our spot to be able to um, give from for right now. Uh, the other person on that list is going to be Jackson Goddard. This was the guy who actually got pitcher of the year for um, what was this? A plus ball, I think. I think um, so. I think it was A plus ball. Either A or yeah. A plus ball. He had a fantastic season, um, and I would love to say that you know we have high hopes that he can become something really special. But at the same time, he needs a couple years of like pitcher of the year results to really be able to make me want to keep him versus a bunch of other people we already have so so goddard's involved in this deal we'd be okay with getting rid of him um and yeah that was single a so he he had an okay year in single a got player uh pitcher of the year but he's not gonna be anything i don't think special uh we're also getting rid of jefferson espinal who is a center field prospect that we have um this is actually one of the D-backs uh, in real life prospects that are considered fairly decent. Uh, he has a lot of power, a lot of power. Does uh, or not? Sorry, not power. He's the is he the fielding prospect they have? No, he's, he's good eye. Yeah. yeah, good eye, good, good ability good to eye. hit. Um, no but we'll see what happens for him in real life. He's um, he's somebody that D-backs hope can develop into something really special. But he's also only 19 years of age. Yeah. So. We're okay with him because uh, the fact that we have so many good uh, outfield prospects right now. He's on the outside looking in, and, he's, and he's um, very that far contact. Away still, so. Yeah, and he's still very far away. So he could he could develop. And we could regret this trade, but I don't think he's going to develop into anything too too special compared to what we have right now. Yeah. All right, other people on this list are going to be Glenelyn Hill Jr., another outfield prospect. So much like uh, Espinal. Hill is just, he's just like our number seven outfield prospect. And there's no way that the people like Thomas and Carol and, you know, even um, uh, Fletcher, uh, our outfield prospect, are going to be, you know, able to give way to to Hill or Espinal. Mm-hmm. So for these guys who have, you know, some decent up upside, if you want to continue to develop them, they're 1921. Um the Boston Red Sox can go for it. We're okay with that. But um, they would never be able to get past AAA in our system, even if they developed really gosh darn well. Okay. I'm in. I'm in so far. All right. And then comes the big one. Right. Um, we're going to give the Boston Red Sox our star hitter, Mike Tuchman, to get this deal done. Interesting. And... Um, this is where it saves us a little bit of money because Talkman currently has some arbitration money involved with him. Mm-hmm. Um, in addition to that, my personal opinion is Talkman just peaked. That's, yeah. that's my opinion. He's 31. I think he just peaked. He hit 33 doubles, had 14 home runs in an injury-plagued season. 
um, with you know only 114 games played. He still had a 4.4 WAR. He was our best hitters. Our he was he was our best hitter. Mm -hmm. He was far. almost on base at a 400 clip. Yeah, he was almost 300, 400, 500, which is like our sweet zone. That's what we want from all of our players. Um, he was he was undeniably our our star hitter. Even though you know we had Kelly, uh, you know you have Otani, but nobody had the kind of WAR from an offensive perspective that uh, Talkman had. Unless maybe you consider Kelly to have a little bit. Uh, yeah. Kelly, I think, was like, what, 3.8? Was he a 3.8? And that includes some defense. Yeah. 3.9. So, yeah, nobody came. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. My apologies. Smith. Kevin Smith was actually technically our best hitter. But Talkman was a close second. Because uh, Kevin Smith had a full season and Talkman did not. So, I think if you gave Talkman yeah. the rest of the season, he ends up hitting about... 48 to 52 doubles has 23 home runs bats 307 and at that point he's better than smith so eh, he's kind of having smith he yeah he's kind <laughs> of the same i think they would be very very closely uh relatable in all senses of the word but then talkman also has really good left field defense too so there's there's good things and bad things about getting rid of talkman again i think he's i think he's peaked i think 31 year old Talkman for 25 year old Devers is a trade right off yeah. the bat. And then the prospects involved going back and forth. We're getting rid of some outfield depth that we don't need. They're giving us some infield depth. They're giving us one outfielder, but they're also giving us uh, um, just another relief pitcher as well as just another infielder. Um, and another Arizona guy. I understand. I understand the trade now. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it makes better sense for us than to try to expect Talkman to, um, to make it again and yes yes canon is is from uh from chandler so i have a soft mm. spot for him personally so yeah yeah so yeah, yeah i like the deal i i, I think it's a, I a like good it. deal for us in real life i think the boston red sox would never accept this deal yeah. um but i also believe that's because talkman is having an unbelievable career in our version of the game like this is not mike talkman that you see in real life this is this is like um what the yankees had two years ago from Talkman, um, when it was just like, wow, where'd this kid come from? That's going to be uh, pretty good for the Giants, right? Well, could be. Um, no, he had a good start, and then he went he like, what, he oh, went over, yes. he he went over five good. with five strikeouts like two days ago, so he's um, he's not doing well now. Yes, he's uh, doing very not well now. Yeah, the problem is that Talkman loved New York because of their short right field fence. That's why he liked New York. Um, same reason why he liked Colorado because it's a hitter's ballpark. So unfortunately, um, yeah, Talkman should be okay in Boston. I don't think he'll be great, but he will like the doubles gaps in Boston. So I think he'll do fine there. But um, I don't think he'll. Time. Yeah, yeah. I I would do this deal. I don't think Talkman will come anywhere close to four point four WAR again, and that's the problem. You could say the Giants are learning its feast or famine with ex Yankees outfielder Mike Talkman. <laughs> Which is a tweet yes. from NJ.com, apparently. Well, I don't know. Yes, yes, it really is. He's either all on and he's doing a great job, or he just can't seem to put confidence in the ball, period. So, Are we trading anybody that I, got, I recently got cards of? That's my question. That you got cards of? Um, No, I don't think so. No, we're keeping out. Do we, have Al, do we even have Al Thomas anymore? Oh, yeah, we have Al Thomas. We have Corbin Carroll still. We, have, um, uh, we haven't gotten rid of any of our top, top prospects. Um, what like about, the the top like ten, I don't touch those if I can help it because those are our Dalton Varsho catcher slash outfielder. It says rookie right on top of this card. <laughs> okay, we did get rid of Varsho, but um, killing me. But we liked that deal. We really liked that deal. What about Ketel Marte? We still have him, right? No, we don't have Marte. <sighs> that guy's Otani. Do you have an Otani card? Do we have um, Otani now. No, I have a Juan Soto card. Can we get Juan Soto? Or oh, I wish we could have gotten Juan. He's Soto. like Mike Topman, but fantastic. not as good, I think, in this game. What? All right. So uh, <laughs> I think we're doing this deal. Chat, one for yes, two for no. And if you say yeah, two, let us know we're what probably going to just time you out for a little bit. <laughs> oh, good grief. I, I mean, we this. like it. We we like this deal. Can I think get, it's a good deal for us. I think the real question is, can we get Monsota? Um, No, no. I may have tried. I may have looked into it and been like, well, the Nationals are kind of in a rebuild mode. What if we, uh, you know, what if we offered for uh, 
for uh, for Soto. Now, uh, there is a big note to put for this trade, though, TJ. There was a point in this in the in the working of this deal where we were actually getting Jeter Downs in this trade. Interesting. But they wanted Perdomo to make that work. And I was mm. like, hmm, I don't uh, think I want to get so. rid of our second best prospects for our, well, no, our third best prospect per our scouter scouting mm. report system. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Downs is good, but... In theory, because he did poop the bed when they called him up this year. Yeah, and that's the problem, is that if you look at, like, OSA versus our head scout, I think OSA has him at, like, a four-star... So they don't think he's as good. Yeah. We think he's pretty good, but I he looks like he'll be pretty him. good. Still young. I mean, yeah, he looks like he would be a solid player. Solid player who can do everything. You know, speed, good fielding, good hitting, good avoid K's, good eye, good gap, good power. Um, this might be the time to get him on the sheep. I yeah, there's a chance mm. that you know what? Maybe we look at getting him in a second deal or something. I I don't know. We'll see. Got attacked by a bug. All right, we're doing this. Goodbye, Chat Ryan Nelson. It. Lots lots of ones. Goodbye, Jackson Goddard. Goodbye, Jefferson Espinal. Goodbye, Glenn Allen Hill Jr. Goodbye, Mike Topman. Thank you for the memory. Yeah, we'll take this deal. And interest drops. Because Treat Mike Topman was heavily liked by our fan base. He was decreased noticeably, but it doesn't matter because Raphael Devers increased it significantly. Because everyone loves Devers. Okay, like so there's, there's nothing wrong with Devers at all. Okay, um, he's gonna love Arizona, by the way. We are a gap, gap and triples ballpark, and Devers crushes doubles and triples, just destroys a ball field that likes doubles and triples. So we should see better results from Devers than we saw from Talkman uh, for the next season if he doesn't get injured. I mean, I probably shouldn't jinx us like that, but <sighs> that is the goal. The goal is to let Devers go crazy in. Um, in Arizona. So here's the lineup as it is currently constructed. Yeah. According, and there's definitely. According to our coach. L. Yeah. Yoretta. We got Nico at second. Fletcher at short. Devers at third. Otani is the DH. Carson Kelly behind the plate. Pavin Smith at first. Kyle Isbell in center. Brandon Marsh in right. Josh Van Meter in left. So we might need to. Think about what we're going to do. Left field. Well, this is where it's going to get interesting because if you actually look and compare Isbell to Marsh, they actually have the same defensive ratings. Or at least um, similar. Very, very mm. similar. The range is similar. Isbell, I think, has better air, and then Marsh has better arm. I think that so, is correct. Yep. So there's actually a potential that we still throw Marsh in center and we let Isbell go play left, where he's actually more familiar with. Mm -hmm. Um and then we would be calling up Luis Gonzalez to play right, which he's actually better at because he has the arm. So he's got that speed, though. Isbell does have the speed, but I don't mind putting him in left because uh, Marsh also got a little bit of speed. And the range is what really matters for center field. That that range is the most important part. So either or would be just fine. We could always just have Marsh go learn left. That wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, the um, answer is not Van Meter. Yeah, the answer is not going to be Van Meter, guys. He's going to be uh, utility. He's going to be utility or he's going to be released because I don't know if we actually even really want Van Meter uh, as utility when we've got Perdomo, Leyva, well, and a couple send, other outfield prospects. Well, we're so, going to send Perdomo back down then, right? I would assume, yes. Perdomo is going to go back down to AAA just to get those last bits of development um, and finish up a whole bunch of that stuff because, yeah, we're not going to have playing time for him with Devers, Fletcher, and Horner being our main starters. Yeah. He's going to be our outfielder. We'll swap Oliveira. So, so Gonzalez is supposed to be the uh, the new outfielder coming up, and he's mm. 26. Also, and we have Oliveira, so. Huh. So this will be interesting to see. Yeah, another left-handed hitting, left-handed throwing outfielder, which is literally what Luis Gonzalez was back when uh, the Diamondbacks went to the World Series. So, we, yeah. <laughs> weird it's like we've copied him but he just doesn't have the power that Luis gonzalez had so unfortunately unless he gets like 30 power out of somewhere i i i don't think he'll be the exact same thing you may have in fact just copied him and not told me actually i i have not that is actually a real life player named Luis gonzalez who's a lefty lefty and it's not even Luis gonzalez's kid um it's just somebody found out of the um what is he dominican republic no he's not dominican republic he's something else 
What is he? Mexican. Mexican. Duh. Yes. Mexican American. Mexican American. But he was born in Mexico, I believe. Mm, yes. So he is a native Mexican, which is cool. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, very similar to uh, the Diamondbacks' original Luis Gonzalez. So this is uh, this is take two, Luis Gonzalez at this point. Um, I mean, do we even have to go over the second trade? I don't really love it. If you don't like the second trade, we don't have to do it. It was mo- that's mostly just for us to save money. Yeah, I feel like we're just gonna kind of get stuck with. What's the name? So we'll just tell chat what it was. There yeah. was an option for us to trade. There's a couple different trades we could have done that involved Bumgarner. The first one would actually have been for us to go out and get Chris Bryant from the Cubbies. What? This, you, didn't um, have, you never showed me this trade. No, I didn't show you that trade because unfortunately Chris Bryant is owed like $22 million and they would never take any of that back. They had us paying the money. We had Ooh. to retain. They were giving us Bryant full cost. We lost like $18 million of our free budget space we basically killed all of our additional room gotcha. just to get brian and then brian would go play left he wouldn't even play third he'd go play left so there's really no reason to do that um because it also involved us having to get rid of a couple of prospects involved to get that deal even made and i didn't like that so that's not gonna happen unfortunately if we get nelson cruz if he could play left field, I would, unless he wanted to put Otani into right and then have Cruz be DH. Uh, does Cruz have compensation this year? Mm, yes. 17 million. All right. No. Yeah, no. we don't want to be getting any uh, compensation right. stuff around if possible. What if we get Kevin and CJ Crone? <laughs> they could um, go play in AAA together. That'd be cute. That'd be a fun little brother brother moment for both of them. They would have to fight over who gets to play first base, though. Eh, one DH. I mean, yeah, that would be the answer. It's one DH is one place first. We have Gavin Sheets. We have Janista. Um, we've got Bubba Sangster. We've got plenty of good first base prospects Blaze. right now, unfortunately. Cash? Blaze we Jordan. Have no, do yeah. we not have Blaze Jordan? Oh, we have Blaze Jordan, right? Yeah, we have Blaze Jordan. Uh, he's got to get his development on, though. He is falling behind. Let me just see this twin, this twin. This and twin we twin. already have the Alexander brothers. So, you know, we already have Blaze and CJ. So. Multiple Blazes already. We have, we get all the Blazes, guys. Like, if, if, if your name is Blaze, you're ours. All right, let me see this twins trade you had real quick. Yeah. So the other option for Baumgartner was to give Baumgartner to the twins. They have enough money to eat his contract. They would actually let us retain only 30% which is only about $7 million for the next two years and then about $4 million for the last year. The problem is we'd have to get rid of Perdomo to make that happen. The Twins, to let us keep, let us to, to, to have us not retain more of Bumgarner's contract, they wanted us to keep uh, or to give away Perdomo um, with this deal. And so there's a part of me that does not like that. You weren't even getting this Jacob Widener back? We could have Tyler and Jacob. <laughs> Tyler and Jacob Widener. Oh my god! We, ooh, Are they we... actually ki- uh, siblings? Look, do I know these things? No. I'm just saying they have the same last name. A very not common last name, I would guess. Ooh, they have Seth Manis though. I can get in. I can't even find these guys. Aren't even prospects, and they're not even on their team. So I don't know where you were finding these names for them. Oh, most of these people are quad A, triple A players. All right, we don't have to deal with this. Yeah, we're not making this. The mistake. the option would have been to have us either retain thirty percent of his contract or sixty five percent of his contract, and we don't get much in return. We get a couple of relief pitchers and a starter. That's yeah. basically it. It's not a great deal, but it would have been salary relief. But if we go to our front office really fast, TJ, and look at our salaries, um, we're already in a pretty good place. Yeah. Um, you know, we aren't going to be hitting a hundred million dollars for arbitration which is what our goal was to avoid $100 million. We're going to be at 86. That's fine. Yep. You know, we can always cut people off if we feel like as if their arbitration is not worth their cost. Um, we also need to really be thinking about, you know, long-term extensions for people like Otani. Um, I'd say Pablo Lopez, if we could get him to an extension. I mean, he's only a mil- one and a half million or so, but Wait, you know, there's a- people. Hold on. We got the Otani at nine and a half million again. Is that what we want him? 
Uh, no, we were trying to get the five year version. Otani had asked us if we could do five years of like the first two years being like seven and a half or like 7.4. It was basically the arbitration number. Um, and then like the last two seasons were going to be like 11s and a half. I'd have to look back at the VOD to see what his original asking price was. But, you know, we can probably think about what options we can do for Otani. I don't have the money for that. And that's the problem is that we kind of need to have our budget increase. So we have to start winning ball games yeah. before our owner is going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, you guys are actually done with the rebuild already. So let's increase your budgets. So um, that can actually happen as we hit preseason. The owner might come to us and say, hey, I liked what you did. The team looks a lot better. Here's some more spending cash. That might actually happen. So Until we'll then, we see. should just raise ticket prices. Oh, happen. we should totally raise ticket prices. We can probably go up to like thirty-three dollars in all what? honesty. Oh yeah, we have increased our fan interest. I think we were at like fifty when we first got started. Now that we're at sixty, and the fan loyalty is above average still. We can definitely Three, pull out thirty-three dollars. Thirty-three thousand dollars. Oh yeah, we just need your life savings. All right. Um, if we don't have anybody coming out of the games. I'm gonna be a little upset now. But um, the club is in a really good spot. Um, we should see increases in, you know, season tickets, attendance per game should go up, and our revenue per, per game definitely needs to go up. We need to be hitting um, somewhere closer to seven hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars per revenue per game. That's that should be our goal. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, with the new bullpen and the new, um, well, basically with the new starting rotation set up. A little bit of a reinvigorated hitting squad with Devers helping us out. Um, and just a really solid young squad. I, I feel very comfortable with where the squad is right now. We're leaving uh, Jaron Duran in the minors, right? Yes, I think Duran should definitely be starting in AAA. I, I feel like he's basically the replacement for Luis Gonzalez. This helps make sure that we don't have Alec Thomas jumping straight into AAA at the beginning of the season. I'd like to see him get a little bit of AA time. Right. Um, since he only had a little bit of double A time last year, so definitely need to make sure he's still doing okay uh, in the minors. Yeah, he's gonna say in double A. Good. Well, that's with us having Luis oh, Gonzalez have, in the minors, so we actually would be pulling up Luis Gonzalez <sighs> to the majors because he's gonna be the expected starter. Now we could wait. Technically, we could wait till spring training and then call up. Gonzalez and Oliveras and let them duke it out. Um, because we actually this is why you use spring training, is you know, then you don't waste a 40 man spot on a player, but at the same time, uh, we don't want them to get uh, lost to the rule five draft. So yeah. we do need to do a little bit of rule five draft work as well. Um to get us up to that stage. So if you're good to go, TJ, we could probably simulate the two up to up to the real five draft. Yeah, basically a couple days, guys. We'll do five days. Five days of simming. We're here. Oh, boy. We, we just sim so much time, guys. Wow, look at that. <laughs> All right. All right. Got, we need uh... to add a couple people to the 40-man to the, to the roster, and we need to take a couple people off the 40-man roster <gasps> if possible. Oh, no. Yeah, no. we're going we're gonna to wave and designate for assignment a couple of people that we really don't need anymore. Eric Wood was legit last year. Eric Wood, I'm actually hoping, can develop into something special because if he can get even just a little more contact and a little more avoid Ks and maybe a little more power, he's playable. Like, that's mm. actually playable. Um, but he does have to have another good season in AAA. He's 29. I don't think he's going to develop any more than he has. I think he's pretty much done. But, but we'll see. All right, who's got... Edward Olivares possibly getting pick, picked up. Oh, yeah. There's uh, Edward Olivares. There's a potential that I think Luis Castillo's on this list that could potentially get picked up. Um, Corbin Klaus? I know Corbin Klaus is potentially okay. going to get picked up. Who do we Naughton. Need to, who do we need to add to this list? I mean, Packy Don. Yeah, there are a lot of people that we're going to need to think hard about whether or not we uh, we add. So, like, Naughton, I would add him to our list, to our 40 man. Would you? Um, All right. Yes. We invested a lot of money and um, and people a rough go. into this Naughton deal. Um, Pretty sure Packy Naughton was just the guy that I got in here for you to get a good name. 
Well, of course, but he also has the title of a video. Like, if we got rid of him to a full Rule 5 draft, people would never forgive us. True. Also true. Okay, so packing. I mean, seriously. So I would add Naughton. I would add uh, Klaus yes. because he's actually, like, the next reliever I'd be calling up. Um, I definitely would be adding, I think Castillo's in double A right now. We want Crichton on the list? No, Crichton could leave, and I would have no problem with that. I, I know he's a good, decent relief pitcher, but he didn't have the best overall year last year, from my member. You just don't like the cut of his jib. I don't like the cut of his jib. I, I, he'd have no, to get better know. for me to really feel like he's that good. JD um, Lucas Bachkowski. Yeah, we kind of need to add Bukowskis and Castillo. Both of them got to get added to our 40, man. Really? Okay. We <laughs> almost lost a follower there. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah, but, they have good names. We keep them, period. Um, yeah, Free Ramirez, definitely not. No, uh, if they're not someone that we actually might be thinking about calling up this year or next year, I, I don't have as big of a reason to keep them. So. Holiday, man. But Gavin Sheets definitely needs to get Gavin added Sheets. to that list. Who else is on this? Jed list? Lowry definitely got to put him on. Jeffrey no. Marte, did we just trade for this guy? <laughs> yes, Marte would be someone we'd have to add as well. He actually is a uh, borderline quad A player, so he'd yeah. be someone to add. But Eric Wood, Oliveris, you want Oliveris on? Yep, I'd like Oliveris added. I don't want to get rid of him to someone just to give away. You know, we we we, we spent a little bit to acquire him. No Braxton I don't want to get rid of him for free. Braxton Lee could leave. I wouldn't have a problem with that. He's not going to be playing center field for us. What about Dario Agrazel? No. Agrazel was a... Uh, he, yeah, he's got great control, but he was a free agent pickup for us. He has no investment besides... Maybe he could develop into something pretty decent down the road. You're, gonna let me, you're not going to let me put my man Cole Staple on this list, and I'm very upset about that, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to acquire Cole Stapler. If they do, then they probably will give him back to us before the start of the regular season. We keep it Luis Frias? Um, that's the, yeah, he's hard, because I feel like as if nobody's going to take a high flyer on him, he's not developed enough. Yeah. And if they do, I highly doubt that they would keep him for the oh. full season. So I'm going to say no. I don't think we put Frias on the 40, man. Ryder Jones. We don't have to put Ryder Jones on the forty man. He's he's just not going to be a big in, a, a a big enough person for us to even think about right now. Mm. Mm, Travis Bergen, no, 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 no. no, no. Mac Lemieux, no. Andres Sol. Oh yeah, Sotole. Yeah. We definitely need to have Sotole on our list. He's he's almost ready for the big leagues. He's just basically a little bit of development away, and he'd be all fine. Uh, speaker, the answer to the uh, capitalized names is that they have been added to a short list. Our short lists tell us people that we're interested in, prospects that we're looking to develop, or people that we want to trade for. So basically, the boldened names mean that we have basically we have a watchful eye on them, basically. Oh man, Gordon Eduardo Charles, Diaz. Taiwanese. I had no idea. Yeah, wasn't he born in um no no no, he just has he just has the descendants, um, the relatives that are Taiwanese. That's right, that's right. Good season in high A last year. He had a good season. I'm hoping for big things from Carol and Thomas. Um man, yeah, Cam be... Duzanek, one of my favorite baseball names. Sam what now? Cam Duzanek. <laughs> Duzanek? Well, good guy. I, I don't think so. I, I think we'll be okay without him. I can't even say this guy's name, so I think this guy's name would get us taken on Switch. Uh... Now, here's the funny one, TJ. Blaze Jordan is on the Rule 5 draft. Is he? And I have no idea why on earth he is on the Rule 5 draft. No idea where he is. Even He's 18. Here. He was drafted last year. What qualifies someone to be included in a Rule 5 draft? Where is Blaze Jordan? He's in our rookie system right now. AZL. Hmm. And this might be why the Boston Red Sox were so happy to get rid of him that they waived him. AZL 2? Uh, AZL just, should be just AZL. Oh, uh, not Jesus. the DSLs. What about, what about Jesus Camargo? 
Jesus Camargo. Oh, I don't think we have to add him to our list because I highly doubt someone will pick him up since he's only had a ball, a ball experience, but he might be someone we actually invite to spring training. Uh, Blaze Jordan was a draft pick. Um, like a legit draft pick. Are you sure? For, uh, oh, I hit a button for Boston. So something happened with how the AI either managed him or he was inputted into the league. That qualifies him for Rule 5 draft already because we have none of our draft picks from a year ago are, are eligible for draft picking. Or uh, eligible for Rule 5 draft. Are we putting up, so we have to put him on the 40 man? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I wouldn't because he's not developed. No. He is, he's just not ready. So is it a thing I highly doubt people will pick him. He got released or something? That's just it. I don't know. I don't think releasing... I, I don't think releasing causes that unless the Rule 5, Rule, Rule 5 draft protection is only for the original team that drafted them. Ways to be in I mean, Rule 5 draft. Yeah, I know he got released, but I mean, unless that does just throw away all the protection. Yeah, we ended up signing him to a minor league free agency contract after Boston released him. They just flat out loud released him. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know enough about the restrictions and the rules and regulations revolving the Rule 5 draft. I don't keep up to speed on that, unfortunately. That's what I'm assuming, Tohan, is that the release probably ends the protection of the player and they're given the ability to sign wherever they want. And then that opens them to Rule 5 drafting. But that's just, it's just silly how Boston still released them. So I don't know. Hold on. There must be, there must be rules or, or uh, settings that cause that. Players may also be eligible to be selected due to having a previous contract voided and then re-signing with their original signing team within a year. That's not what happened here. So it's dis so they're disqualified from the protection if they void the contract and they go sign someone else. That would be the alternative. What? Yeah, because I'm assuming, because yeah, Tohan's right. If you trade for a prospect, you retain that Rule 5 draft protection. So it must be the fact that he got released. It, it voids all of that protection. Uh, and we don't get the ability to um, have years of him developing before he's a Rule 5 draft eligible player. So so he's going to have to develop very quickly. Um, for eligible if they are not on their organization's 40-man roster and were 19... He was, he just he turned was 19. 18 or younger on June 5th, preceding their signing. This is their fifth. This is their fifth. Regress. That's not. No. I don't know. I'll have to look it up later and see what the, the deal might be. I know uh, Matt would probably know. He'd be like, oh, it's because this happened. Yeah, you know? it might have something and to do with the. Uh... I'm guessing it's the releasing. The fact that they released him outright, that has to be the yeah, reason why it's just. It. Yeah, so either way, Blaze Jordan is officially Rule 5 draft eligible, but I highly doubt anybody's going to pick him. So right. let's go ahead and take a look at the Rule 5 draft pool really so fast. Because, yeah. yeah, I think we've got everybody we want to have uh, protected at this point. Oh, we wanted to DFA a, a few people as well. I mean, we have four X spots. Do we really want to DFA him right now? Or? Um, yeah, yeah. Because then if they get picked up by somebody else, we don't pay their contract. Mm, interesting. Packy not in DFA. Uh, not Packy Naughton. Pablo oh, no, 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 no. Lopez, the DFA. Oh, no, 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 no. Madison. You're just running down the list now. From Gardner. <laughs> I mean, we actually could. We actually could DFA Madison Bumgarner and see if someone would actually take the bait on him in a Rule 5 draft. That actually is something we could do. We could just um, waive him later, like next year, right? Well, And just put him on yes, waivers? Do they still have waivers? Yeah, is that a, that's a little thing can, in baseball? Yeah, you can still waive... We could still waive him down the road, and if somebody claimed him, they'd pay the rest of his contract. Mm, but yeah. I highly doubt anyone would do that. Well, you never know. You always need a, yeah, a good lefty with stuff and control and no yeah. movement. That costs twenty four million dollars. It costs. Yeah. Right, yeah. Who, who do you want to let like go? A, of? 
elevated bullpen person is Bumgarner. So we wanted to uh, DFA Taylor Widener, mm, uh, also Wyatt Matheson, Christian Lopez, whoa, whoa, whoa. and um, wave in DFA or just DFA? We are waving and DFAing. All right, Tyler Widener, Matheson, Lopez. Lopez or is it Lopes? Uh, Lopes. Sorry, Christian Lopes. What? what? I have and then, uh, How come I always get yes. stuck with the guys that don't know how to play, say bitch players' names? <laughs> I don't know, TJ. I, I don't know. Can somebody call JJ. Get him it's back in here. It's just your luck. It's just your luck. <sighs> uh, we also want to uh, DFA uh, Juniel Kerkuto. Okay, I can do that. Since we kind of got our middle of the infield all resorted and, and fixed at this point. 32 There's people on our 40 men. 32 people, which is great. That sounds, means we've got me. we've got eight spots available. All right. I think maybe I, was, we can... uh, I got a little excited earlier. I think we're going to get through the rule five draft. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely get through the rule five draft. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pool really fast. I just want to make sure we don't have anybody else that we're forgetting about. Mm, there's nobody on the draft pool. There's lots of guys in the draft pool. <laughs> I'll say you probably got a filter on. Let's actually go ahead and if you can right click on the uh, the columns, we want to add a column to this list. Add slash edit columns. Okay, what do you want to add? Yeah, we're gonna add the organization mm. column, and this will allow us to sort by literally Arizona's players. Organization. Yeah. Arizona should be the. Yeah, so we want to basically take a look at all of our players that are on this list, and um, if we can also... Oh, we got to take away overall and put on potential, since we can't actually see overalls. Potential. Because we want to see um, if there's anybody that we're forgetting about, if there's anybody that's, you know, Jose two and a half stars Herrera. or better. Uh, oh, yeah, Herrera, we need to add. I'm sorry. Yeah, he needs to go to our 40, man. He is our, he's our backup to Langoliers. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So Blaise he's like, he's Jordan. like string number three. So I don't think anyone's going to acquire Blaze Jordan. Yeah, I, I think, think he's so. too undeveloped. Now, and if they take him and Lowry, they play him, like. Then great, because he has to be in the majors that oh, yeah. way. So no worries there, Blaze. If you want to go play in the majors someplace, be my guest. Um. Lowry might leave, here. but that's fine. I wouldn't I wouldn't have a problem with him leaving. He's on a minor league contract right now. Yeah. Um he's our backup infielder, a veteran player, so maybe he'll play for us. If he plays someplace else, no, no problem for me. Ooh, we can get Travis to merit. Oh, there are some people that we will be interested in picking Wendell up. Wendell Rijo, former Trenton Thunder player. There are some very interesting people on this list. Um, if you sort it by potential, you can actually see the people that we're going to probably be interested in at the most. So crates um, Johnson. Oh man, yes, Jamae Jones is good. Yes, even Johnson's Wait, pretty good too. Interesting. Why is one of the here, folks? Didn't develop to a shortstop. The Pirates really should be having Cruz develop into a third baseman, but they've got Hayes now, so... We can have Josh he's... Devers play next to Raphael. Just saying. Are they related? I'm sorry? I don't know. Actually, Jose is on my list of people to acquire in this Rule 5 draft. I know. They're all bold. Riley Adams. Let me tell you, Riley Adams. Yes. Some person. It bombs. I think he's not playing well with the Major League level. Here's how we're going to approach this Rule 5 draft, TJ. Go, tell me. We're going to consider this our tryouts for spring training. Mm -hmm. Who do we want to have trying out in spring training? We don't Drew have to Ellis. keep them. <laughs> Drew Ellis? Didn't we have him? Wait, already? wasn't that our player? Yeah. We traded him, right? Yeah, we got Tyler Rogers and Logan Webb in exchange. We have Tyler Rogers? The Giants haven't put him on their... Wow. I guess they didn't put him on their 40, man. They've got him on their minors, but... Um, cool. Weird. Huh. Brandon Liebrandt? Now that one I know. <laughs> Son of Charlie Lee Brandt. That is correct. All right, let's go to but, the um, Shelby Miller. Yeah, let's let's go. <laughs> Got him. 
Oh my god. No, First please tell me you did not pick up Shelby Miller. The greatest trade ever. <laughs> the Diamondbacks got an ace oh, when they man. got Shelby Miller. And by that, they got a Reno ace in Shelby Miller. Yeah. That is pretty my greatest. Much. That's my favorite joke of that trade. Because that was the dance <laughs> once in there's Whoa. questions about that entire trade on both ends, to be honest. Wild. He was actually traded. He was in the trade that sent Jason Hayward to the Cardinals. Yes, he was. And then that's how the Braves had him to trade for Dansby Swanson. That's like two Keystone yep. Braves right there, and Jason Hayward and Dansby Swanson. So good on yep. you, Shelby Miller. He Thanks. was pivotal, just Thanks not for, for the right reasons. Thanks for your time. Oh, man. All right, all right. Let's get to this draft. We can go ahead and start the draft. What about Elvis Paguero so that we can take him out of the game and say Elvis has left the building? <laughs> Elvis has left the building. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Too bad he's not a reliever. If he was a reliever, I actually would say sure, but um, we don't need starters. What if we take Gabriel and Lister? Sosa. Take them both. Oh, there are better options than those people, TJ. Don't worry what, about what that. About, We've got... Yeah, but I can get Andre and some, Sammy uh, Tavares. they got to be brothers. <laughs> I can get a couple Warrens. I can get a a Bowman. Oh, this isn't even by name. That's even wilder. All right, let's go to this draft. We're going to this draft. We're yeah, draft. let's go ahead and start the draft. Rule five Everybody... draft. Welcome to the rule five draft. We have the ninth pick. We have the ninth pick. Mm -hmm. Start draft. Let's go ahead and get started. There's ten potential rounds. Auto pick to us. We might. We might pick up five players. Do we trade up? No, oh, no, we can't trade up, unfortunately. This is what I don't like about baseball. Auto pick to Arizona. Anybody taken already? Draft log. Matthew Boyd was on. What is yep. doing? No movie. Boyd was on the list. Classic, I know that. Uh, classic no movie. Keon Wong there. was on the list as well. Good second base person right about there. So uh, the problem with uh, Matthew Boyd is he's extreme fly ball and low movement. So, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, Wong got taken. Yeah. Had so he was decent last year for the trip for triple A. Give him a shot. Come on, uh, bad call, Angels. <laughs> Brent Cumberland could have got him. We don't. Uh, all right. Continue technically, draft. all of those people we really don't care about. Um, if we still see, uh, let's see if the players. Yeah, we should still see Duvall on the list. Uh, this is by We're going to pick up Duvall. Duvall. No control, throws 100. Sounds like my kind of guy. Hold on. Yep. This is the kind of relief pitcher that the Giants have been trying to develop for years, and we're just going to be like, look, if he has a good spring training, <laughs> he can, he's a fireballer. He can play a little first base for us. He can even play first base. All right, I'm taking this guy. So Give we're going to pick up Duvall. That's going to be our first pickup. And this is going to be, again, fire. our entire approach, ladies and gentlemen, to this Rule 5 draft is, who do we want to try out in spring training? Never, ever, ever do this in real life with your Rule 5 draft, okay? This is not a, let's try some people out for spring training, because you would be the worst GM <laughs> in, in baseball if you went into the Rule 5 draft with that mentality. Um, these are supposed to be starters you pick up. Jed Gurko. Yeah. What's amazing is the Minnesota <coughs> Twins picked up Jeff Bain, which is a former prospect of ours the Bain of that my we existence. traded away. That's what I'd like to say. <laughs> we traded him for. Oh, we trade. We just traded him too. That was yeah. the Fletcher Keller deal. Okay. Yeah. So he goes back? to the Royals and and gets that back. Unfortunately, Beer is actually expected to start in the majors for the Royals as no, their first baseman. That can't so, possibly be true. Yep. We'll see if he gets past spring training. Maybe they'll start him in AAA, but uh, he is expected to be a starter for them. I mean, they have been the Arizona rookie league right now, so let's see what happens there. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. What do you want to go? All right, so. Um, I let's just want you know we also have no bullpen spots, so picking a bullpen guys might be a questionable. questionable well, player. bullpen is just an abundance. You want to have that abundance of bullpen players. That's what you, you, you always want to have that. Let's go ahead and look at batters for a quick second here. Yeah, we have there should We already have too many. Yeah, but we're going to look at somebody in particular. All players. There's a couple of people in particular. Jose Devers. Yes, Devers is actually one of them. But You're we're also looking Jose. for 
I mean, yeah, we can pick up Devers right now because that's that's an instant. Yeah, that also gives us a little bit uh, depth in the infield too. Yep. Second base shortstop. A better version of Leba, basically, is what Devers okay. is. Do we want to take Devers now? We want to wait on him. What are we? Oh, we're totally taking Devers now. Yeah, cool. let's take Devers now. Draft player, got him. Next pick. Anybody else get taken that I should know about? Tristan Gray. Reggie. I forgot Lawson. about him. Reggie Lawson with the torn labrum. Even Yusniel Diaz got mm. gets taken. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. All and right. He's, and he's fragile, so. He's a little fragile. He's a little uh, of an older developed prospect at this point. Still, still checks out though. I mean, he's still pretty good. All, All right. right. We're looking for a couple of center fielders if they're on this list or not. I know that potentially the Rays do, all do not like protect. Who is it? All outfielders. So Stastino and Gigliotti are both excellent prospects Gigliotti. for center field. Got some D. Yes, he's, both of these guys have got some good D. He's pretty good. And they're not bad. These would and be Swede. excellent uh, quad A players. Um, Celestino. Celestino. Is that who I was looking at? Yeah, you were looking at uh, Gigliotti. Okay. So both of them, I would not mind taking high flyers on in spring training and just being like, you know what? If they develop, great. If they look good in spring training, e even better. Because then we can push some of our prospects back a little bit. I'm going to go Gigliotti um, first because he's got the speed and we might be able to use him as a bench guy first. Uh, yes. And his fielding, I think, is a little bit better yeah. than Celestino's. Ooh, Esteban um, Floreal still there as well. Yes. Esteban Floreal is actually someone that we might pick up. He's 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 a high, high flyer. He's um, all right, It's all us. Nobody else is picking so yeah, no one else is going to start picking because we basically are all doing tryouts now. So. So, yeah, we'll take up Celestino as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I so badly want to pick up Alexander Canario as well, I, but I actually really kind of want <sighs> Jemai Jones, too. You want Jones? We can pick up Jones. He's actually very developed already. Yeah. Again, this can be just us. And he being gives like, us a hey, little bit of for... little options. You went to Wesleyan? I had no idea. Oh. I'm going to take Jemai Jones. All right. Let's take Jones. Because he was like and, a high uh, prospect with the yes. with the Angels, right? Before they traded him to the 100 Orleans. prospect, I believe, at one point. For Alex Cobber in time? Okay. We got him. Right, what round are we so, in? So. So that was round. Um, that was five. This is five. Six uh, round six now. And so it's all, us. it's all us. Yeah, it's all who. Uh, basically, our entire approach again for this real five draft is who do we want to try out for like the first two weeks of spring training? Mm -hmm. We're gonna give them full playing time, and if they impress us, great. If they don't, we ship them back. No problem. So people like, I mean, admin's not a good enough hitter. I don't think he'll be good enough yeah, for us, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the I kind of want to give O'Neill Cruz a chance, but I don't feel he's got the arm, but he doesn't have the range. He doesn't have the range. If he was a third base prospect, I'd go for that. But we already have Devers now, yeah. so his know, gap there's really no room. The other stuff's not really developed. Yeah, just because I don't love, I still don't love Fletcher at shortstop. Oh, I totally agree. Uh, the first chance we get to get a better shortstop, we will pull the trigger on that. But Kevin, my turn. Wow, he's still only twenty. Oh, he's gosh. still not even twenty-two. <laughs> Cost the man his livelihood, technically. <laughs> he was one of the uh, illegal signings by yep. uh, copy by the Braves. Got him banned from baseball. But guess what? We kept Acuna. That's all that matters. That's and all Albies. you wanted out of that deal. I think. Can you imagine Mayton, if they had made you guys give away Acuna. I think Mike would have gone. Uh, what was his name? John Capello. Capello. I'll answer the chat's question here real fast. Uh, is there a setting to influence the AI's behavior around the Rule Five draft? Unfortunately, no. Um, most of the Rule 5 draft is dependent upon what the AI believes is the best roster setup for the teams. Um, so it very much differs year by year. There have been a few years I've played OTP, um, and you know you come into a season for a Rule 5 draft, and suddenly there's a five-star 
potential player on the rule five draft, you know, it's probably a second baseman or a relief pitcher, um, but they're up there. And then, you know, the next year there's only two and a half star players. So it, um, it changes, it, it changes very, very quickly and very randomly. Um, each year is always different. Kevin, Kevin, how do you spell the guy's name? Just give me a story with the, the story. I just want the story. <laughs> They've smothered the story. I mean, I thought the guy had a great story. Not gonna lie. Like how he got the job, supposedly he like emailed all the team, or he like wrote letters to all the teams when he was a kid trying to get a internship. Oh. You start doing some shady stuff. All right, who did they give up? Mm, yeah, you can't do shady stuff. Oh, they worked. Oh, they worked out an international product. In British prospect. Uh, oh. Drew Waters. Oh, we kept Drew Waters. Let's go. Drew, was Drew Waters on the table of getting ganked? I would imagine so, because anyone they had been working with was probably uh, on their list. There. Can we get Drew Waters? No, Drew Waters has already been traded to the uh, Angels, I believe. Okay. And here's my question. Can we get Drew Waters? Not in the Real 5 draft. Uh, and they they like Waters. He also hasn't really developed that well. Who doesn't like uh, water? As a person who lives in the desert, we love water out here. Actually, my sister from Tucson is here with her kids. They were at the uh, at the beach with us today. Oh, nice. Very excited to see the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, yeah. It's always a fun trip. You don't like OOTP Waters? Yeah, so I guess my opinion was yeah. the only guy I had to give up. And then the Angel second. Yeah, I wish Waters was better in OOTP. He's, he's got better potential than I think the game gives him. Yeah. Um, You're gosh dang right. 70, 75 <laughs> gap power, though. So The gap power is there, but... Why is he only hitting 270 with a 360? Yeah, that's... Base. That's the issue. Is he just he just he hasn't doesn't, really developed that, that well. He does need to work on that. Maybe next year. Oh, he's on the Rangers. My apologies. Rangers, Wait. Rangers. Not okay, the, so, can not you, the can we, so can we get him? Uh, we could think about it, but we already kind of have an outfield. Yeah, we that's could have pretty Drew good Waters. at this point. So you know. But if we could have Drew Waters, he'd be our center <laughs> fielder, and we'd be good. He's about to left. Uh, okay, who else are we taking here? Anybody else? Uh, I don't know. Do we? Uh, Maybe another couple of relievers just to try them out in, in the spring training. I know you think our, our relief is full, but you can never have enough relief pitchers. Someone, you know, gets injured or somebody starts well, Marsh- to really underperform. What are your thoughts on Marshall? Kazowski. Yeah, it might be Marshall. I mean, that's just one less weapon for the Dodgers to be able to pull out. And I like that approach. <laughs> He's also like ridiculous. He's also really I mean, good. No, no like control of it. But gas, if you only have him in for, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. If you only have him in for a couple of batters, you know, a, a walk isn't bad if he strikes out the other three batters. Yeah. Like, it's not bad. All right, we got him. Did we like Louis Free? No, we did not like Louis Free. Junior Fernandez. Free is our player, actually. Yeah, but that's why we didn't like him. Yeah. Carlos uh, Fernandez. I, I'm not as big on Fernandez. Bean uh, or Belen. Um, not as. Not as big on him either, unfortunately. For Wait, for relief right? pitchers, we're looking for more like uh, people who are almost fully developed. Hold on, he's got some bop. He's got some. Wow, he does. Forty four power, forty five uh, power versus lefties. Not exactly the greatest two A player, but um, hey, not bad. He's good defensively, actually. Oh wait, nothing. Wait, what? I mean, he hasn't played on the he hasn't infield. Played Lot. He's been that... DHing his entire career, so I was looking, I was looking at the I can send him to one B if you want. Mm, great arm. I thought he just moved from Dominican to not Dominican, which would make no sense. Will <laughs> can <laughs> Will Can Cannon? Ken Cannon's great. I would definitely put a chance on Ken Cannon. Sure. We'll Ground see. ball pitcher, good movement, good stuff. This is actually something we were looking at for signing off of the uh, free agency list. Wilkin Cannon. Draft him. We got we got three. We'll more take options. him. Do we have? Well, let's how about this? We don't currently have 
a backup major league catcher. Oh, that's right. We're still supposed to be um, picking up uh, Hedges, and oh, we Hedges, also yeah. should be looking at picking up Roberto Perez once we get to the preseason if he's still available. Mm. All these catchers are kind of not bad. Ronaldo Hernandez. The issue is that this is a Rule 5 draft, so they have to be on the Major League roster. So I wouldn't pick up somebody that would be like a prospect catcher. We'd have to trade for them. Ah, Marchan is really good. I, I wish we could have picked him up in a trade somehow with the Phillies, but um, uh, they, they pulled him up to the majors in 2020, and that has ruined his ability to um, you know, stay as a prospect because his service time has already started. None of these guys have, like, super defense. Uh, is there an Ali Sanchez on this list? Is that what chat's saying? I mean, Ali Sanchez does have very good fielding. Yes. Well, I'm going to pick you are Sanchez. Ali Sanchez is here. I don't remember what his actual defense is, though. Oh, 65. Okay, yeah, that's right. You can get a Trace Beffa. Barrera? No. Well, if we're looking for defense, though, we can pick up Roberto Perez from the uh, free agency list for free, pretty much. So we're not going to waste a Rule 5 draft on a catcher when, you know, Hedges and Wait, Perez uh, and Yadier Molina are on the free agency list wanting minor league deals. Yeah. But, I mean, we're going to get Austin Hedges. I was just thinking maybe we, maybe we get something. Yeah. Something gets hurt. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. That's that's kind of why I want us to also acquire uh, Roberto Perez, because he would be the backup to Hedges, if not potentially a better version of Hedges. We'll see. Um, so I think we're pretty much done with the Rule 5 draft, I think. I don't think there's anybody else on this list that I would be putting a heavy preference towards. Juan Yepes. Kind of, kind of good at everything. Yeah, Pez first. wouldn't be too bad if you wanted to think about putting Pavin Smith to the outfield. <laughs> nah, I, don't really want to do that. I like Pavin Smith where he is right now. With yeah, his, I kind of uh, like him at first base. I mean, he won a gold glove at first base, guys. What are we going to yeah, say? Oh, you're not a good enough first baseman. Go to the outfield. Yeah, yeah so we've gotten everybody that I think we should have gotten. Dylan and I think Bottle. we're pretty good. Stefan Floreal. Man, you know, I love I, I, I really like Floreal and Canario. My man, Nick Green, not the right Nick Green. I like the not the right Nick Green. I mean, we Isn't could Nick Green take actually not bad. We, we could take both of them. Oh, we could also take Nick Green if you wanted to try him out as a starter. But I'd rather trade for Nick Green, keep him in AAA. So can, I just, can we just take O'Neill Cruz, see what happens? I mean, sure. I mean, he's not also not good defensively. I mean, he's got an arm. He's got no range. He's got the arm, but would we play him at third base or shortstop? I mean, that's the question then. And we'd have to play him at short. Yeah, because he doesn't have any third base ability, so... And we have Devers. And we've got Devers, so there's really no reason to get him since we have uh, no implications to play him at shortstop with that defense. that can do anything at shortstop? With the range and everything? Give me like a little bit of power. Give me a little bit of defense. Brandon Drury? Nope, not going <laughs> to happen there. I mean, Drury will play good defense at what? Like second and third and first, but not short. It would been Diaz. I'm thinking of a different Diaz. I think I'm thinking of the Marlins Diaz. I was thinking of the Dodgers Diaz. The Dodgers oh, that's right. Diaz. Yes. Um, no, isn't it Ed Edwin Rios? I'm thinking Rios. Ruiz? Ru is it Ruiz? No, Rios. R-I-O-S. Edwin Rios. Good power. Um, hasn't actually done that well in our game, so we'll see how he does in, um, in real life. But, um, yeah, that's Edwin Rios. Cruz can develop into a decent third base option. That's what I'm expecting, yeah. Is that the Pirates will eventually either get rid of him and someone will play him at third base um, or something like that. Right. And yeah, it would take at least, I think he has at least two or three more years before he actually gets the development that he needs. All right. Do you want anybody else? Unless you want to pick up both Canario and Florial. I do want to take 
Me I've forgotten how good Canario is, unfortunately. I want to get Mixiandon Kelgaboom. Oh! Mixiandon Kelkboom? <laughs> you don't know of this guy? I have never heard of this person before in my life. Oh, obviously, he's from the land of my peoples. Curacao, a.k.a. Oh my god. He's Dutch, so that you know this guy speaks seven languages. I love that. Yeah. Name. And he's, yes, chat, that is a name. He's got speed. A name and a half. He's got a good name. Good speed. He got on base, 421 in uh, AOG lowercase o. I don't know what team that is. Arizona. Athletics, gold, rookie league. I don't know. Wild name. Okay, I think we're good. We, did you want somebody? Was there somebody else? Ever Lewis um, Lozada. I mean, do you want to get Estevan Florial or um, Alexander Canario? I mean, dude, that would be just more outfield prospects to just play with and have fun. I mean, whatever you want to do, buddy. You tell me. I don't think Florial's developed enough to even get a shot at the big leagues right now. I agree. I like Riley Adams. But we're not going to give him a shot, right? Yeah, I don't think Adams would be given a shot because we've got other people that we'd be preferring to have in that position as well. I'm just saying, if Carson Kelly goes down and we don't have Riley Adams, I'm going to be pissed. Lizardo <laughs> well, Arcamentos? Arm, Armin, Armenteros? I mean, Armenteros is actually pretty good, but... Still not developing the contact at all. Yeah, at this point, if you if you want to pick up somebody, we're picking up somebody with a lot of development already. All right, so give me a I name. Think, Click. I hit a button. I think I think we're done. We're done. Are you sure? I think we're done. We got this guy already. We have all these guys. Are you sure? Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, we're done. So we got Duval. We got Devers. We got Gigliotti, Celestino, Jemai Jones, Kazowski. Mike Wazowski and Will <laughs> and Cannon. Yep. You're happy. That sounds like our list of people. I'm very happy with that. Um, Rule 5 draft. And draft. Can you draft? Yeah. Can you draft? Actions. Technically, I guess Ibn Del Isabel was on the draft, but we're not picking him up. But he just has that. He just has that 70 power. But um, but yeah, yeah, we're not we're not picking him up anyways. So. Frank the bald eagle is 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 Bendel? I don't know how to spell his name. That's uh, I S A B E L. How did he get on base at a 383 clip in AAA? <laughs> in 81 in 94 plate appearances. Uh, I don't know. This dude can hit homers like nobody else he hits can. Tanks, I'm telling you. He hit 30, 32 home runs last year in 90 yeah. games. 100 and. This is basically Blaze yeah. Jordan. Yeah, but this is Yvonne Del Isabel. But it's Isabel, so, you know. You can play first. 26-year-old right? version of Blaze Jordan. Okay. Should we get Blaze Jordan? If we select Blaze Jordan, how does that work? Oh, I I, I don't even know if it'll can. let you. I think, I think it lets you, but then you're, like, restricted by yourself. If you release him, he still goes back to yourself. So it's just, like, I like it. you're basically just <laughs> forcing it. I'm liking everything you're saying right now. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, anywho, let's go ahead and complete the draft. We're complete done. Draft. We're done. We're done. Listen, I still have sand in my shorts, so uh, I'm going to read this important message. Mark Kaina signs with Washington. Indians and Pirates do a deal. Washington and Baltimore oh. does a deal. Wander Suero traded. For... Adam Frazier got traded in the Pirates yes. deal. No, did he really? Yes! Indians pick up a second base pro or a, a uh, star almost in this deal. Mm, he's been kind of not great. Last year, wow, you're right. He hasn't kind of done that well. Interesting. Let show, okay, let me show you his stats better. 269, 333, okay. 377 last year. Hmm. You know who we need? Nick Madrigal. Nick would be fun. I'd love to get Nick. Horner was our our oh, our cheap cousin to, to Nick, basically. The Twins and Rangers just had a trade where Gilbert oh. Celestino was in. So that's how Celestino <laughs> went, it, went to the Royals. Yeah, and they got uh, 
Twins got worse. Wow. All right. Well, we'll we'll try out Celestino. He'll probably go back to the Royals, anyways. We're probably not keeping many of these Nick guys. Nick Castellanos to the, the Red Sox. Sox. And Presley goes to the Yankees. Oh gosh. Hey, can you make sure they update it so that his facial hair comes off when he goes to the Yankees? I think we can't actually set it up where the Yankees have a no facial uh, feature requirement, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it'll update face gens for that. Mitch Garver to the Indians. Wow. Angels are making a lot of Ooh, like swings this. In, at what this point. Here? Giovanni Gallegos to the, to the Padres. Whoa, that's a big deal, too, right there. Daniel Bard. <laughs> Going to the Mets. For Alejandro Leon and Cesar Loiza. Ooh, Interesting. Brewers All get right. Carlos Correa. Really? Can you okay. Dodgers? Well, at least it isn't the Dodgers picking up Correa at this point. Yeah. Although the Brewers, uh, the Padres did get better with Because uh, they could have. With uh, Giovanni Gallegos. Oh, man. All right. Do you want to sum up to the uh, preseason begins? What? Okay, we can do that. I mean, it's I mean, late. you wanted to get up to spring training, so let's see if we can get at least a little bit of the distance. Uh, Diamondbacks have a player who doesn't get a first assignment. Time runs out. He must be released. Oh, yes, all of our DFA players. We can go ahead and set them down to AAA. They're all good to go. AAA. AAA. Can I do the dots and send them both at the same time? Yes, you can do all the dots and Ooh, then just do them all at the once. Dots. Done. Yeah, so they can just go down AAA. We'll manage the minor league rosters uh, when we get closer to spring training, and then we'll just go ahead and go back up and, yeah, keep simming till the preseason. Oh, Colome signs with the Braves. Alex Colome. Freddie Freeman has a charity softball game. He could have been having a charity softball game for us, just saying. <laughs> he could have. Luhan Za out of Taiwan signs with the Braves. Oh, that's right. There are... Um... There are uh, Nippon League players who get added on December 4th, I think, because they have their, their, like, their um, open offers to people. So there should be Sunny Gray somebody else who signs. Sunny Gray went to the break. Wait, a trade for it? What did the yeah, Reds Freddy, get back Freddy in Tarnock? that deal? A low movement pitcher. It was actually not bad. Man, I remember when Sonny Gray was one of the best pitchers in the league. Still is. Is he pitching Man. this year? Has he pitched this year? I don't even know. Yeah, he's been trying to pitch. He hasn't done very well, unfortunately. Brad Hand to Houston. Ozuna to Houston. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, Roberto. Okay. Roberto. I was like, Marcel? Who signed? We got Austin Hedges. Who did the... Who did Lynn go to? Who else? Who else would he go to? Of course it's the Dodgers. Five years, 40. Uh, four years, 40. Ugh. So he didn't get anywhere close to the $20 million qualifying offer that we offered him. Mm -hmm. So win-win. And the Dodgers. And we can, and we get a really bad now. pick because the Dodgers were good. Yeah, yeah, we won't get... Well, we're getting a supplemental draft pick, but we take away the, draw, the Dodgers' first-round draft pick. So, that's good, at least. It wouldn't have mattered don't which team me. signed the player, because we get a supplemental... A supplemental pick. I don't like... We the, don't get their draft pick. I don't like the trading in baseball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big contract sign left and right here. Mark Melanson lands in Boston. Boston? He went back to Boston? All right, Andrew Heaney okay. Andrew Heaney Braves. And he goes to the Braves. Oh, man, the Braves are going to compete against the Astros. Kenley Jansen to the Astros. Astros have the deepest bullpen in the history the of Astros baseball. are just spending everything. You said... Uh, Miles Straw. Kamasaki to the Dodgers. Okay. That's a, I that's think that's team. another... I think that's another draft pick loss for the Dodgers right there because that's a Japanese import. Mm-hmm. Mookie Betts opened an auto dealership. <laughs> Scherzer to the Cubs. $36 million. Cubs? For how many years? That has, like, that has to be like two years, right? I hope it's one. That's got to be it's like two, a two-year deal. 18.4, two years. Okay, I'll say that's got to be a two-year deal for Scherzer. Uh, wow. 
Okay. Donovan Solano to the Astros. Hector Neris to yep. the Yankees. Oh, there he Tomo is. Yuki Sagano. So this was the one person what? that I was actually thinking about us looking into, but he's so expensive and we'd lose a draft pick. And he's old, 32 already. And he's a little old. So I was like, oh, he's just he's just not good enough for me to pull the trigger on him. Yeah. And he's just too expensive for me to think that he'd be, you know, a decent number five starting pitcher. And we already have plenty of starting pitchers. So good luck on the Brewers for uh, for Sagano. Matt Whistler goes to the Astros. I guess that's what this is yeah. trying to tell me. Goop to the Twins. Shoop, going to the Twins. All Stroman right. Stroman right. to the Mariners. Stroman goes to the Mariners? Oh, come on. In Velasquez to the Blue Jays. Wait, what? Malenkin goes to the Red Sox. Velasquez Wait. goes to the... Wait, did they trade him immediately afterwards? Signed on January... 14. Claimed off waivers. Signed by the Dodgers and then claimed off waivers a few days later. Interesting. Wow. So that's what you call a sign and sign and wave deal right there? Okay. <laughs> Dodgers were like, hey, Blue Brand Jays, you want him? Brandon Workman and his goatee into the Yankees. Andrew Heaney to the Braves. Wow. That's a big that's that's that was potentially the best pitcher. I mean, sure, you have Scherzer and Verlander, but the, I think that's actually the biggest uh, free agent pit pitcher right there. Kluber to the Braves. Why? Kluber to the Brewers. A Rod Kluber to the Brewers with old man weird beard to the Hall yep. of Fame. As with Kurt Schilling, Roger Clemens misses by like a half a vote. We we might go through and just be like, you know what? We're just gonna put. Bonds and Clemens in because I think they're actually going to make it in real life. I think they'll just it'll be the year of the um, it'll be a year of getting everybody that is disliked off of the Hall of Fame ballot. Basically, Schilling in as a Philly. Uh, Interesting. Oh, man, I don't think he'd go in as a Philly. I think he'd go in as a Diamondback. Okay. I, I think he would. But that's also, just me. Alex, what I'm thinking is next week, I think you're running the stream. All right. For the for spring training? Yeah, I think we should let you do your spring training thing. So yeah. Kevin Smith had a 26 game hit streak last year. Just want you to know that. He did. Are we up to He had a good season. Jonathan Villar, Washington Nationals. Really? Okay. Mets and Miami make a trade. Miami make enough. a trade. Who? Willie oh, Rodriguez. Brim. To the Brewers? Okay. Who? Tommy Hunter. Got signed and then released a second later. What? Oh, weird. The Dodgers are having some issues with their finances again. Or they have a weird 40 man. It could be their 40 oh, man because they probably have yeah. a thousand players. Yeah, they probably can't manage it right now. I might have to go in and take a look at their yeah. their roster and their do 40, some. Uh... Their 40 man's full. Ah, yeah. So they're probably offering people contracts and then when they actually get them, they're just like, well, we don't have any place to put them. So but they have they just... Lance Lynn. They do have Lance Lynn. David Price and Kershaw. Both in the 40 men. Just put them on 60. Yeah. Or, oh, I guess you can't have a 60. They, I, L, they have to be on the roster during offseason. Yes. Yeah. Craig Stamen. Let's go. Stamen's been around for a long time, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, 37. He is old He now. was. I want to say like the same draft as like Bryce Harper. But he was like out of college, I think. Chuck Nasty goes to the Astros. Astros kind of legit. Why are the Astros getting everybody? They're also at a forty man. They're at their forty man limit, so we'll see. Oh my gosh! So they can't get anybody else now officially. So we see. So we know because Doolittle just signed with them too. Uh, uh, but that's not. He finished it up. Wow. Brebia, Jurfri, Nolan Ryan struck out a lot of guys. You close bet he did. It's... After seeing how hey! your offseason is gone, we gained we got twelve million dollars in budget. We got up to one hundred and thirty, so our budget will be one hundred and thirty this year, and it should go up next year and the year after that. So we'll be looking at hopefully one hundred and fifty million in two years, which would be just enough to keep all of our players signed. I think. Mm -hmm. Do little to the Strohs, Kimbrel to the Brewers. Brewers probably wow at the forty million. Brewers, level. Brewers are making some moves too. Okay. Oh, Kirby, it's sir. Okay, we are at February 1st. 
which is where you want it to be. I'm going to save this. Yes! Douglas Cochise. We are good. School in South Arizona. All right. Hey, we scored a drop. I'm going to play him up. Alex, I think we've done a lot mm -hmm. this, uh, this episode. We've uh, added a whole bunch of guys that you're going to have to mess with for spring training. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got Raphael Devers. That's pretty exciting. I got Devers. I'm happy about that. I think he's a perfect fit for Arizona. I think he might be our um, our new star player. He might be our third base version of Pavin Smith. Yes. If but we could have older, him in Pavin Smith, guess, too, like what they do. Oh, man. We're, could, we're set for years. At this point. He could be our older version of Jose Devers. Yes. Is that the guy's name that we just picked up? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We actually have a full roster. Or we have more than a full roster, but... I think we've done a yeah, lot. We're going to have we're going to have a lot of people for spring training to try out. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I am very excited with where we are. All right. I'm going to save this. I'm going to send you these files. And uh, I think we're going to leave the people here on Twitch. But make sure you're following here on Twitch with your notifications on. Because we got something coming tomorrow. that I don't think it's been announced yet. Could be wrong. Oh, no, we got perfect. Uh, this week in perfect teams tomorrow, right? Special yes. edition of Wednesday's evening edition. Yes. Yes. So make sure you tune in for that. Also, French talking manager tomorrow night, I think. Unless that's getting preempted. We'll see. There's stuff. We'll see how they decide the scheduling for that. There's stuff. So we definitely want to be here following notifications on. Alex, thank you very much for joining. Absolutely. I appreciate your help as always. Thank you to the chat for uh, approving our trade that got Devers over mm -hmm. to us. Goodbye, Mike Talkman. It was fun while it lasted. And uh, Alex, have a great night. Absolutely. You too, TJ. Take it easy, buddy. Goodbye, folks. We'll be back next week. Take it easy.